Today we are going to be making a very simple recipe with this wonder vegetable which is a powerful remedy for kidney stones and this vegetable is available all throughout the year. By the way, I discovered a very interesting and unbelievable relationship between sunlight and kidney stones. Does it sound weird? Keep watching till the end to know more about this. Namaskarams and welcome back to Munch and Mal. Off-late problems associated with kidney stones are on the rise and one of the easiest way to prevent kidney stone formation is to drink enough water. And the other important thing that we could do to reduce our risk of kidney stone is to include banana stem recipes regularly in our diet. And why banana stem? Because banana stem is rich in potassium and potassium also helps in calcium absorption. So today I am going to be sharing a very easy and simple recipe that is banana stem vegetable or it's also called banana stem poriyal or varathand poriyal in Tamil Nadu. There is a special way to peel this and cut the vegetable and we have explained this in great detail along with the benefits of banana stem in our previous banana stem juice episode. Do watch it. We are actually going to use the inner part, the innermost core pit. Yes. So here are the ingredients for making the banana stem vegetable or varathand poriyal. Here are the chopped banana stem. I have taken half a cup of grated fresh coconut, one green chilli and curry leaves. I have spoken about the benefits of curry leaves and the importance of why curry leaves should be eaten in one of my previous episodes on curry leaf powder. Do check it out. For seasoning, I have taken 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. You could use any edible oil of your choice. 1 tablespoon of mustard seeds, 1 tablespoon of chana dal, 1 tablespoon of udad dal, turmeric powder and salt. So now let's start making the varathand poriyal or banana stem vegetable. So once the kadai is heated, I am adding the oil, adding the mustard, the chana dal and the udad dal, turmeric powder, over the flame and then now we will add the chopped banana stem. So this water, part of it we can use it to sprinkle for the banana stem to get cooked. This water could be drunk or watered to the plants. We will not be wasting this water. Let's keep this covered. It takes about just about 7 to 8 minutes to cook. So while our banana stem is cooking, let's coarsely grind the coconut, green chilli and curry leaves. That's it. We've seen the role of banana stem in treating kidney stones. Let's look at the other benefits of banana stem. It's high in vitamin B6 and potassium and it's a highly alkaline food for the body. Its high fiber content is useful in many ways. It helps in the slow release of glucose in the blood and thus is extremely good for diabetics. It helps in weight loss as consumption of banana stem reduces hunger pangs too. It helps to trap the bad cholesterol or LDL cholesterol and its consumption helps to relieve constipation. Here, this is cooked but at the same time it does retain a little crunchy feel. So let's add the salt now. It's always better to add salt later, otherwise water soluble nutrients get lost. So now let's add the ground coconut, chilli and kadi patta mixture. Our sabji is ready now. That's all. 
So here our fiber rich banana stem vegetable or varathandu poriyal is ready to be relished. Goes very well with chapati, sambar rice, dal rice, curd rice and also it is a whole meal by itself. Our previous episode on banana stem juice and banana stem raita used the banana stem in its raw form and here this we are cooking it. You remember we said that sunlight and kidney stones are related. Let's mull over this. A calcium rich diet is extremely good for our health. But if the calcium is not being absorbed by the body and this calcium which is excreted in the urine has a tendency to mix with oxalate to form calcium oxalate crystals which are the kidney stones. There are two main ways by which calcium absorption could be increased in our body. The first way to increase calcium absorption is to increase the potassium content in our diet and that is done by having a lot of banana stem recipes and bananas and potassium helps in calcium absorption. And now coming to the relationship between sunlight and kidney stones, calcium absorption is aided by vitamin D. And so when our body is rich in vitamin D, it aids calcium absorption and thus reduces the risk of calcium in the urine. It is so strongly emphasized from childhood itself that sunlight is a good source of vitamin D. But do we realize that we are not getting enough sunlight exposure these days? This is because of our sedentary lifestyle and also confinement into closed air conditioned spaces. So now we have two choices, either have a good exposure to sunlight or we'll have to depend on external vitamin D supplements and the first choice is always better. So to sum up, if you want to prevent kidney stones, there are three basic things that you can do. First is drink lots of water. Second is get yourself enough exposure to sunlight. And third is include potassium rich food like banana stem and bananas in your regular diet. So now do you have some clarity as to how you can prevent kidney stones and does this motivate you to use banana stem very frequently in your diet? Do leave your comments below. <laughs>